All right, guys, check it out. So, the weed eating head finally broke off the weed eater. So, I have the uh, my attachment here. So, I got my attachment for the combi system, the PAS system. I just took the head off of that real quick and uh, put it on there so we can finish up this one job that we're on right now. It's uh, early in the morning, it's my neighbor's yard, and I uh, only had like 30 seconds more of weeding to do, and then I'm done. So we're gonna <laughs> knock it out real quick, and then I'm gonna go buy another speed feed head so I can have that one replaced. So that's where we're at. Check out my new mower. Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the issue that I'm having with this yard is that I have to get the lawnmower picked up over this AC unit, that AC unit, because they're standing between that walkway right there. Just stand. That's you can't even fit in between this walkway. It's uh, it's too tight. That's the only way in the backyard, and that's 21 inches, way bigger than that area right there. So, uh, when I quoted this yard out, I quoted it for 25 bucks. It was a neighbor's yard. It was just the backyard. The HOA takes care of all of our front yards, and uh, it's just I didn't know I had to pick it up over this AC unit, and uh, with a broken wrist or fractured wrist or whatever I want to call it never got an x-ray uh, it's a pain to pick that thing up by myself I can't do it so I gotta have him help me do it so here's how we do it right what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel my name is steve with west pro lawns we just finished that yard we're uh, it's literally like two houses down from my house uh the hoa takes care of the front yards of the hoa the area that we live in and uh they have a company come in and do all the, the head trimming uh the neighbor and uh the head trimming and all the you know the the mowing and fertilization we control all that kind of stuff and and mulch but we're in we're required to take care of the backyards. Well, one of my neighbors uh, is, is old, she can't mow, and so she uh, called me to, to mow the backyard. And uh, because I knew the area, uh, I just I figured um, since the backyards are so small, very, very tiny, like my, my backyard's 128, 126 square feet. Um, that's how tiny the backyards are. And so I figured they were all about the same. Well, when I she called me, I said, hey, yeah, you know, I, I live in the same neighborhood. I I know the backyard, so I, I'll, I'll do it for 25. I knew how to push mow it, and um, so when I get there, uh, I realized that her gate, the way she, her gate is, um, there's no way to get uh, a mower back in there because of the the AC units, and uh, and I already quoted her 25. So, um, and the, and her backyard's a lot bigger. So anyway, um, yeah, I misread that one. So um, I'm gonna definitely have to go up on the price for that. So anyway, uh, done with that yard, heading to the next one, so. What's going on everybody? <laughs> so one of my customers here has a big field on the front here. So you can see all of this, all the way back to that house, all this, uh, he wants uh, mowed down. So last year I attempted to do it with a weed eater because I couldn't get back here with uh, with the rider because there was too many rocks. Well, he paid some guy uh, come out here and clear out all the rocks 
uh, put in a whole bunch of these trees. There's a bunch of these uh, trees right here. There's there's probably, I think he said 30 or 40 of them out here. Just to fill in the, the land out here with some trees. And uh, it, it, the guy took it, took him six weeks to clear out all these rocks. Well, anyways, I don't know if you can see behind me all those rocks. Well, it spans up from, I think this is a good acre, acre and a half. It goes up all the way to the road, all the way back. He just lined the rocks up all the way back to all the way to the house and then again on this side with the rocks and they're on the property line you can't see them from here but he cleared them all out so now i could get back here with a weedy uh with a, a rider or even two riders and uh, knock it out so i was just walking the field just to make sure i can get back here with uh the riders and it's not going to be any trouble and it's it should be fine i walked the whole field almost already all the way up to the road now so uh, i'm gonna give them a price and uh, we're going to go from there. There's a, a couple of spots that might be having a little trouble with the rider, like one, two rocks. But again, we just got to be careful. We're going to mow high, and uh, so we're not going to hit any rocks if there is any problems. Um, and uh, it's just there's a lot of weed eating around all the areas around here. So all these shrubs and trees that are in in the field originally I had to weed eat around. And as you can see it's uh it's pretty tall it comes up to you know comes up to my past my knee my thigh you know so it's pretty tall so he wants it all mowed down so i'm walking the area to give him a price and uh i'm, I'm leaning towards about 300 dollars to, to mow it because it's gonna have to be probably double mode triple mode uh the, the all this is gonna have to be blown off all the way from the from the the road to the house right there all this whole road's got to be blown off probably uh all the weed eating around so it's going to take a good i'd say four or five hours to do it uh so i'm gonna give him a, a quote for that and uh we're gonna go from there so hopefully he bites on it last year i quoted him i believe it was three hundred dollars four hundred dollars to weed eat it the whole thing uh now that i can mow it it should be a little faster um, again I've never mowed fields so I'm not sure so, uh, it'd definitely be faster than we eat, that's for sure so anyway we are heading to the next job I just mowed his yard heading to the next job so I'm gonna give him a quote for the field catch you guys later